Good morning, evening, friends. I'm your friendly announcer. And I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. And why? No, uh uh. I ain't going there. I need some help today, y'all. I want to know how y'all dealing with this daylight saving time crap. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you own, please welcome to the mental house and where we talk about real, real mental shit. Uh, oops, excuse me. I am so up. I got too comfortable. Um. Where we talk about our challenges, um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, and today is no exception. I'm having a real difficult time, you guys, during daylight uh, saving time, which is one of the reasons why I can't deal with Alaska. Um, I had a couple of friends that uh, moved a while back. And uh, decided they were going to raise their families there. I can't understand it because I think that I would literally go insane in terms of the constant daylight or the constant night. I don't think that my um, emotions would handle that very well. I'm having a real hard time, y'all, dealing with it get, It getting so dark so early and just being dark. Y'all hear them puppies? I know you do. Um, let me let their mom in. Now, again, this could be part of my ignorance because I don't really know any um, black people that use a, a tanning bed or a sun bed or anything like that. I'm not saying that they don't. I just don't know any. So what I was going to say is there's a person named Lisa Reed, a 49-year-old sales assistant from uh, Swisden, Wiltshire, suffers from seasonal affective disorder, otherwise known as SAD. With the darker winter months, she becomes a different person. Her mood, her energy plummet, and she fights an almost permanent desire to eat more. I first realized something was wrong about 10 years ago, says Lisa. I had always been very sociable and a very popular person. I had a happy marriage and a wonderful home life with our two children, who were about 7 and 10 at the time. Then one year... As autumn came and the clocks went back, I suddenly felt despairingly uh, and moody. Despairing and moody. I couldn't sleep and I was always tired and avoided calls and friends and invitations to go out. It was so uncharacteristic that her husband, Roberto, wondered if she was going through early menopause. So while Lisa began to wonder if she was clinically depressed, um, she began to explore more of herself. I didn't want to see a GP and be given any pills, general practitioner, so I decided to do some research. Her symptoms occurred sporadically over the years, and looking back through her diary, Lisa noticed that one consistent notice her mood swings always changed when the clocks were set back. So it's a real phenomenon, people. For those of y'all who think it's not, I mean, you're looking at a person that's suffering from it right now. Um, let's see. She says she noticed that her mood always changed when the clocks changed. Remained that way until about March and then improved from April onwards. It was as if the change of seasons, my happiness and my joy for life came back. Um, I personally am 
I have been working on my um, anxiety, I guess, or uh, wintertime blues more so than I ever have because I'm now more conscious of it. And at first I wasn't. So there are things that I'm doing to counteract that now by, um, you know, making more smoothies, uh, fit, uh, feeding my body more on a cellular level as opposed to constantly eating, you know, or digesting stuff that has a face. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm taking much more vitamin D and C, of course. But I'm trying to protect my immune system and just keep my spirits up because, like I said, y'all, I really have a hard time doing this time. So am I by myself? Is there anyone else out here that suffers the same thing? Please leave your comments below and tell me what you do. Um, Tell me how you counteract the winter blues. I don't know. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, family, and I'll see you in the next video.